I hate having bad days or those days we just write off. So I came up with a way to stop having them. Hey, it's Riss, and if you're new here, I make videos on confidence, health, all good stuff like that, but we're gonna jump right into the video. When our day starts off on a bad note or something bad happens to us, we just kind of throw the towel in and we're like, oh, I'm gonna be mad for the rest of the day and I'm just gonna let myself sulk all day. But that's just not right. So the solution is to break your day up into three. I'll show you. So you're gonna break your day up into the morning, afternoon and the evening and so each of those three things is its own entity none of them are linked it's just its own thing and what happens in one of those three things is not going to affect the other two and i plan my day out the night before on a sticky note i know it's nothing crazy and what i plan in the morning is things that require the most amount of physical energy if i need to go out somewhere if i need to go to the gym if i need to be active in some way i do that in the morning so i'm just showing you also what i ate throughout the day because my nutrition really reflects on my overall mood and energy and just how my day goes. This has been my favorite go-to smoothie. I load it up with lots of spinach as you can see here and whatever fruits I have on hand and then I love this unflavored whey protein because sometimes that vanilla flavor I just get really sick of. So this I don't even taste it. I also don't even taste the hemp seeds or the collagen protein powder as well. another leg day and no I don't only work legs okay I do upper lower upper lower legs twice a week upper lower twice a week just so happens that whenever I film my workouts it's just not a leg day but I'm gonna start with some walking barbell lunges which is the most elite exercise for legs actually I take that back this is the most elite leg exercise because every time I do it my soul like leaves my body I swear I think I'm gonna die Quiero la mujer para mí, yeah. I've been having a gym, protein cookie, grocery shopping ritual going on here. So as you can tell, my morning is quite jam-packed, but we're getting it done. Something I wanted to talk about briefly here is having fun. I feel like having fun is really underrated and we don't put a lot of focus on it. Like in today's society and how things are always like, go, go, go. You have to be productive. You have to grind, work hard 24 seven to be anything and achieve anything. I know in my videos, I talk a lot about being productive and goal setting and working hard and things like that, being consistent, being disciplined. But I also want to talk about that you should have fun and give yourself rest when you need it. So what I like to do is have one fun thing that I look forward to every single day. So sometimes that is watching my favorite show while I eat lunch or sometimes that is going out and getting like a matcha latte or something like that. I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna freaking be a beast at my groceries. There is always a later expiry date just underneath. You just gotta look underneath because I just got these tortillas. And these expire April 22nd and all the like three on the pile above it were all like end of March. So I also got some strawberries for $3.88, which is pretty good. $3 off. Where am I? I need to check my list. I think I have too many things. Yeah. I'm so excited because milk was on sale for $1.30 off. And I got a couple cheese its because Ben's coming to visit this weekend. And also, he loves pierogies, so we got that as well. I'm really sad though because they didn't have frozen pineapple. They just had some other things, so I got frozen raspberries because these are really good if you like thaw them and put them on pancakes or like French toast. It's like kind of a nice syrup, you know. So I think I actually got everything, and um, I think I'm good to check out, but. Success. Wow, that was kind of speedy. Honestly, have a lot of groceries at home, so I didn't eat too, too much. What I like about this system is there's a lot of give and take here, which is why 
it works. Let's say in the morning I wake up late or I just wake up and I'm super tired, I wanna sleep in a bit, and I wasn't able to go out and run the errands that I needed to, or I just wasn't able to uh, accomplish what I needed to in the morning. Then I say to myself, okay, you know what? I'm gonna take the morning off. I'm just going to, you know, realize, hey, this sometimes things go sideways, things come up, no problem. But I'm going to make sure that I can stick with my evening and afternoon plans. And how you wanna split these up with the timing and stuff is totally up to you and what would work best with your schedule and sleep schedule and stuff like that. But the morning for me would typically be from around eight to 9 a.m. until noon. And then the afternoon would be from noon to about 4 or 5 p.m. And then evening would be 4 or 5 p.m. onwards till I go to bed. I've been really digging these pancakes. You know I go through my protein pancake phases. Took a banana, a nice ripe one, and I mixed three eggs because I was real hungry today. About three quarters of a scoop of vanilla protein powder and cinnamon, and that's literally it. Then in the afternoon, what I had planned was I did a bit of schoolwork. So I got that all finished up for a couple hours. And then I had my walk. So it was really nice to get outside, enjoy the sun. And we found this cute little coffee shop, which was really nice. So in the afternoon, any activities that would be like moderately physically demanding, I would put here. And if anything happens in the afternoon that just kind of like irritates me or makes me angry or anything like that, the key is to not let it leak into the evening. But in the evening, I'm gonna do those evening to-dos that I had set up for myself. And it's gonna be all good. Making a pasta for dinner. Got some tofu sizzling. Gonna put these veggies, zucchini, asparagus, peppers. I'm gonna use chickpea Ooh, as the pasta. Mmm, good sale. Oops, I'm excited. For dinner, I have this really good pasta with homemade Alfredo sauce. I used some, so I melted some butter, added some milk, garlic, and then take it completely off heat, let it cool for a bit, and then added Greek yogurt, and also like some Italian seasonings and stuff. So the key is to take it off the heat and let it cool for a couple minutes before adding the Greek yogurt, because I did it when it was still on the heat, and it just like, the protein breaks down in the Greek yogurt, and it just curdles and not nice. And basically in the evening, I'm just finishing up the day's to-dos. And I also always make it a part of my evening to reflect my goals. Just go over everything I did that day and see, hmm, okay, what went well today? What didn't go so well? And then I take the time to plan the next day after that. Break it up, morning, afternoon, evening, same thing. Another thing I want to say is you don't have to plan your day according to like how much physical energy things are going to take. I just find that when I do that, I'm most likely to stick to it, but there are days when I simply can't do that. So for example, my day tomorrow, which is Monday, here you can see that I have the gym planned in the afternoon because I have class in the evening. So I have class from 6.30 to 9.30 Monday nights. So it just works out to like go to the gym right before that. And then so the morning I have more like less physically demanding things, which are just like schoolwork and desk work, things like that. But the thing is too, is things that take up a lot of mental energy, that is also better to be at the start of the day. So not just like a lot of physical energy, but you can also plan it around mental energy. So breaking up your day into those three different components is like, okay, if one of them doesn't go as planned or something unexpected happens, it's like you can get a two out of three, which is just overall good. Even if only one out of three goes to plan, that's still okay. That's better than a zero out of three and just throwing the towel in and having the whole day just ruined over something. If something happens that does genuinely make me upset or angry for whatever reason, I let myself be angry or upset, but only for that segment. So if it happens to me in the morning, I say, okay, I'm gonna let myself be angry about this. I'm gonna feel whatever emotions I'm feeling. But once the afternoon rolls around, I'm gonna be all good. And another little tip is to leave an hour or two kind of budgeted of just like, free time so let's say you plan to go to the gym in the afternoon let's say you can still go in the evening with that kind of free time you had open and if you miss something in the morning that you really need to get done that day you can do it in the evening in that time as well but let's just say the day went to planned everything went good in that free time you can just relax 
can watch, you know, a movie, you can take it easy because you did everything you needed to. So take a break. I have a whole video going through my day of just me being consistent and kind of how I stay on top of my goals, how I plan, things like that. And just like a real and raw day of what that kind of looks like, especially when I have like a lot of things going on. So I'm gonna put that right up here. If you wanna watch it, go check that out. And I hope you guys have a killer day. Bye.